Hi, I'm Aliena and I've gotten so many questions and concerns and uh, requests about my UI lately and really all the time uh, that I figured I would give you a little overview of it. My UI is available for download on wowinterface.com and just about any signature that I have ever made and my YouTube profile all linked to my UI. So if you're interested in downloading it, you can go to either of those places and I'm going to put it in the info box as well. So, okay, that is a disclaimer. Now, since there are so many questions that I can probably answer pretty easily once and for all, I hope, um, I'll just go over the different parts of my UI. So let's start. Up here we have Trina's buff frame, which is just my buff bars. Really like the customizability, the customizability of Citrina's buff frame. Uh, very good add-on. I like having them on this side of the interface because I never really check over here. I don't know. My eyes are just drawn to the left. Anyway, on the right we have uh, my my map add-on, which is sexy map. I do like it, but it's very buggy. It causes a lot of LUA arrows. Er errors. I'm bad at talking today. Uh, causes a lot of errors. So uh, I don't actually recommend it that much. I'm still using it because I don't really mind them. But if you are if you hate having er errors pop up in the middle of your screen, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, down here we have all of my bars. They are dominoes and coupled with a button facade, which is what makes the buttons look all pretty. See, we have different layouts here. It's pretty basic. This is the one I like to use, which is Vista. Uh, makes the buttons look pretty. Now, over here we have my chat, which is Pratt. And the thing that makes the bars look pretty is KG panels. Well, not the bars, but the background of the bars. Uh, as KG panels, I do my own artwork for it. Uh, I do have that available for download as well if you're interested in the art panels. Some people call it girly and I appreciate that. That's a compliment, thank you. But uh, you can easily make your own ones too if you have any kind of history or uh, our experience with KG panels. It's not that hard. There are tutorials out there for that. I'm not going to make one because it's too complicated and I don't want to deal with it, <laughs> but you can find one pretty easily. Now um, my uh, player and target and target of target frames and focus for that matter uh, is Pitbull. I really like Pitbull. I like Pitbull 3 a lot. Now that's discontinued so I switched to Pitbull 4, which is not as customizable but it's easier. So that's actually an upset for a lot of people. Now a lot of people say I do not have a cast bar. I do have a cast bar. Of course I have a cast bar. It's too small because I don't like having big cast bars except when it's a boss and I really have to see what he's casting. Which is why this one over here is really big. Now my own cast bar is really small here too. And the focus of focus is not, uh, the target of target does not have a cast bar. But um, the cast bar is quartz, the add-on, and you can really, really, really customize quartz. So if you like bigger caspers, you can easily put bigger caspers wherever you want them and still have them look semi-pretty. Um, okay, now my rate frames are grid. You've probably seen those in action quite a bit. Now there are different um, rate frames that a lot of people like. Some like Healbot, others like Voodoo, others like Grit. A lot of people use Click with Grid. I just use Grit. Voodoo is really the same thing as Grid, it's more, it's easier customizable, so a lot of people like it for that. I like Grid because it has so many options, because, I don't know, it's just kind of my thing. Just get any that you're comfortable with, and you'll be fine. Now, above Grid, we have Forte Exorcist, which is just a cooldown timer. Or at least it's what I use it for. It also pops up down here when something procs on me. Of course, nothing is going to proc now. So, well, inner fire is up down there, and there we go. Inspiration just procked. Uh, any kind of proc. Um, other than that, we have power auras, which is the other part of my cooldown show thing. 
I use it for anything that's important. When my own important abilities come off a cooldown, I have them down here. Any boss ability that I really want to track. <laughs> See, this is storm power. It's still a leftover from Hodir. Long time ago, I don't know why it's still in there, but anything like that. It's just easily visible that way. So it really pops into my eye and I won't miss that it's up and that I have to cast it or that I have to get out or do something specific. So it's really useful for that. What else do we have? Oh, my my tracking, my DPS meters, healing meters mod is SCADA. I do not like to use recount, so I switch to SCADA. They do the same thing though, so it's not a big deal either way. My combat text, my folding combat text is mix scrolling, mix scrolling battle text. I do not like the default because the fonts are ugly, but it's not a big deal either way. Uh, what else do we have? I have our key for archaeology. Mm, big wigs is my ooh, big wigs is my boss mod of choice, and then we have raiding buster. That's a good one too. See, whenever you hover over an item, uh, it will put in parentheses the actual increase to your stats. Like, the intellect on these glo gloves give me 0.36% spell crit. So it will show you exactly how much of an upgrade it is, whatever you're getting. So that's really useful. And last but not least, we have tidy plates, which just makes all the... Um, health bars look pretty and very obvious so it's a really good improvement and that about concludes my UI so again I will put the link up please do not send me messages about it I don't really respond to them she loves messages I really do not love messages about my UI if I don't respond to them, I'm sorry, but I get asked the same question about a billion about a billion times, and the answer is always easily findable by a Google search. Uh, She'll do that search for you. Or going to the Tankspot thread or the WoW interface um, download. So please don't send me messages about them. I'm sorry in advance if I will not respond about UI questions. And. That about really concludes my UI, so I hope you found your answer in here, and if not, just go to the Tanks thread and you'll probably find your answer.